Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chocobo Plays, the Disney Afternoon Collection, Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2, I believe this is part 5, and dear god that's a long title, and I think we're on the end boss, I'm pretty sure this is the end boss, this is Robocat, or, uh, they kind of pulled the same crap they did in DuckTales 2, where they just had a robot as the end boss, uh, this game has been a pain in the ass if I'm going to be honest. It's not bad. It's just the bosses are... I mean, the bosses in the first game weren't hard, but they had weird patterns, especially the end boss, Fat Cat, which makes sense in most games. The end boss is going to be hard. Um, I actually had to watch a YouTube video because I couldn't figure out how to damage this guy. But we're going to go ahead and take him on and try to finish this off. Come on. Oh, I feel even dumber. Damn it. I don't even have to do anything. I'm not going to cheese that, that hit I took because there's no way to get around that. I don't know how to dodge the hand. I'm going to cheese the hell out of the hand, by the way. Because I'm getting older, my reaction time isn't the best. Okay, now I know how to do the hand. If you're getting mad that I'm cheesing this, do you really want to watch me sit here and replay this boss eight times? Nope, oh, I screwed that up. I'm not stupid. Boy, you dumb kitty. Oh, that's lame. There is a trick to getting the bomb to hit him in the face, and then it falls down next to him and explodes and does damage. This game has a thing about balls to the face, ironically. I'm really just going to have to slow kill this guy. But we're going to do it. There we go. No. No. Wow. Yeah. So, trick there. Don't be on the edge of the screen. I don't like this boss fight. Extremely arbitrary hitbox for the boss. Also don't like... Come on. Good boy! <laughs> I don't like this. Alright, so this is one of those few times where Edge of the Screen is your enemy. Alright, Capcom, I will give you some credit here. I don't understand that. So his literal crotch is like the only spot I can hit him. Oh, okay, cool. I have to do squad. <laughs> oh, hey! Holy crap, people! <laughs> oh, shoot. This isn't over yet. <laughs> I got lucky. I should know better. No. No. No! Game, you are not cheesing me here. You are really cheesy. 
Thank you. Broken mechanics are broken. Somebody's watching this get pissed as hell right now, and I apologize. Once again, as I say in every video, this is Chocobo Plays. Not Chocobo Plays well. There are some games I'm legit really good at. This is clearly not one of them. And my thought is, if the game's going to give me a mechanic to cheese to fight, why not? There are signs of what he's going to do based on what hand has the... Don't know what I just did there. Ah, uh, it's actually not a super bad boss fight, just a little bit of cheese. Come on, will you die already? Holy crap. I was half expecting to have like a 10 minute video of just a death montage of me cursing. Wow. No! Alright, you gotta land on your own ball. Okay. Sorry, I'm cheesing that, because that went outside its normal path range initially. At least on my screen. Am I done, finally? Holy crap. I think we did something good here. Ladies and gentlemen, we beat, uh, RoboCat. Is it Robocat, Top Cat, Top, uh, it's Top Cat, so is it Top Robo? Well, apparently that wasn't the end of the game. I unintentionally lied to my viewers. So we got more of the game to go! Go find cover, everyone. You know it'd be fun to play as Monterey? Less agile, but I can, like, plow through everything. Saw me do this last time. I'm not doing that fight again. <laughs> now, this game, uh, it's not just a, you know, collection of ROMs. Uh, there's, like, boss rush mode and other things in here. Chip and Dale are trapped inside. Right. Yeah. Here's a hint game. Show, don't tell. I have no idea if this is the ending, by the way. setting up a sequel that never came out because this game wasn't all that good and didn't improve the first one and again I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to play next I'm leading towards the game but I'm not announcing that yet just in case I change my mind I do have another wrestling uh, podcast coming soon. Uh, I'm a little <laughs> late on doing a Money in the Bank review directly, so I think I'm going to do an Aftermath uh, podcast. Again, I think this is the ending. And Deformed Zipper had to come back. Kill me, I'm deformed. hit the end of the game with a giant wall of text. 
So yeah, apparently that was Chippendale Rescue Rangers 2. As I've hinted at throughout the playthrough, this was not as good as the first one. The level design really just was all over the place. It, to my knowledge, really didn't fit the theme of the show much, because I don't remember any of the characters, but then again, that I'm in my 30s and that show was on when I was like 7. So I could be wrong there. The boss fights were a bit more interesting, because a lot of them in the first game was, was just move back and forth and crap things out on the, the rescue rangers. Uh, this one, like, the one where I fought the... And I didn't pick up on this while playing, but as I was uploading these, I was watching a few of them. There was that boss that was the weasel guy. He was drinking alcohol and spitting fire. How that got through on an NES game when Soda Popinski was censored? His name in the arcade game, in a, the I think in Japan, was still a Vodka Drunkinski, which, for a Russian stereotype, that makes more sense. And before anybody gets mad, go play the original Punch-Out game. And even Super Punch-Out, every character was a racist caricature. But, so yeah, chill. <laughs> but, apparently this is the end. I'm hitting buttons and nothing's happening. So, thank God! <laughs> I am finally done with the Disney Afternoon Collection. And again, I don't give a crap if I didn't play all the way through Tailspin or Darkwing Duck. You can go play through those. I may revisit Darkwing Duck, because I want to actually try to beat it at some point. The game is just bullshit difficulty. Tailspin just sucks, and it can go die in a fire. Nothing about that game is good. It's a bad licensed game. It's a bad shoot 'em up But... My overall thoughts on the afternoon collection here as we're staring at a blank screen, or the, the on screen here, no audio. Uh, most of these games are at least fun. This game was not as good as the original Rescue Rangers, and the original Rescue Rangers will be the one I will always go back to and play when I want to play one of those games. DuckTales 2, surprisingly, was better than the first one to me, and I didn't think it was going to be, because I remember growing up hearing that it wasn't as good. But... I never got all all four pieces of the treasure map, so I still need to revisit that game at some point. Um, DuckTales and Rescue Rangers, of course, are classics. This is worth picking up, especially now if, you, if you're doing this on Steam because it's a summer sale. Give it a shot. But this is it. We're all done with the Disney Afternoon Collection. Keep an eye out when I figure out what I want to play next, and we'll be starting our next series soon. It's been fun. All of you take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your day today. Peace out. And again, this is Chocobo Plays. And as I always say, this is Chocobo Plays, not Chocobo Plays incredibly well. Peace out.